Good afternoon from here. Um, it's been some time now I didn't really uh, sit down and have a good uh, chat with you. So today I uh, still put on my uh, summer makeup because even though it's uh, getting to be rather cool now, but the summer is still here until of course officially the 21st of September so how are you how uh, everything I hope everything is uh, going well except yesterday I felt a little bit um, solemn because uh, you know the sentiment that I had at the moment when I watched the TV where September 11 was uh, happening it just surfaced again and it just uh, make me feel sad see I'm emotional because you know since that date everything changed in the world and also you know in some of our personal lives maybe See, that's why, you know, it's, it's strange because I have no direct link with September 11. But I remember at that time my daughter was living there and so happened she was on holiday in Spain. And her boyfriend at that time I was working from Stanley Morgan in Times Square and I remember if I'm not mistaken was it Morgan Stanley or Stanley Morgan was one of the offices in the World Trade Center right and I saw all those people at least on TV jumping off their windows or of their buildings I couldn't help thinking of my also daughter's boyfriend at that time you know and yet he was working actually in uh, Times Square so I don't know why I I always imagined that one of those guys was him even though they're not together now but I had some affection for him but okay things didn't work out so that also evoked some memories of me and my late husband where we, when we used to go to New York not frequently but regularly sometimes I went alone sometimes he and I would go there and just enjoy the city so anyway that was yesterday the feeling that I had okay back to today <clears throat> as I was saying I put on my uh, still summer makeup what what that entails is um, you know this is one of the tips that I learned here as an observant all right because those who are not observant of course they wouldn't understand what I'm talking about but in summer when you wear the colors of black gray uh, white uh, yes that's it the makeup you should accentuate on the eyes okay so the eyes should be strong and should be in in uh, coordinate coordination with those colors that you wear so you combine those colors you put on your eyes eye eyelids of course and uh, make them strong okay today i didn't do it because also summer is finishing is ending and also i'm going out in the daytime it's not like i'm going in the evening now for a date or for a nice dinner no but i did um, apply a little thicker on my eye makeup and then the lipstick should be just white or neutral and that's it you know 
maybe with a line you know with a black line lip line if you can use it and then just a little bit of uh, blush that's all um this since i must uh, share it also with you because this is part of life i'm on a very very tight budget you know it's been some time now because of also you know my my villa in jakarta that hasn't uh, really uh, brought me those passive incomes that i was uh, expecting and i was counting so you see in life never take for granted because you never know what might you know take place so uh, for this reason and for this being I cut my own hair <laughs> I haven't been to the hairdresser for like one and a half years to cut okay for a haircut never so I just cut my own hair I do my own style and cut my own hair use a little bit of technique and that's it you know and I'm, I'm all right I'm okay I don't need a special haircut I can just cut all on my own so I'm happy with that and uh, second luckily you see this is also another tip is never never buy too many fashionable clothes or trend of the moment because sooner or later you just have to get rid of them because they look passe they do they don't look anymore you know um, wearable in terms of, of of also practicality sometimes you know and I have always bought clothes that are more timeless that last this one is a casual top which actually uh, came out around I think around six years ago yeah I think so yeah and I bought I bought it because you know I can just wear casually you know until today it's still okay to wear you know it's still all right so it's not like it's out of fashion but it's still okay since I do love wearing casual clothes I I don't like to wear too dressy uh, a clothes when or an outfit when I go out in the daytime um, I prefer that way and then in the evening then I would dress up or when I have a special nice uh, outing then I would dress properly but I don't other than that I would just wear casual you know sorry my eyelid is itching and that's it uh, this one is black and white it looks like blue right dark blue is it yeah it could be dark blue but to me it's black black and white so i just combine it with um water pearls and uh, very very casual and this uh, necklace that i added that's it simplicity simplicity all right so uh in a minute i'm going out again to always to do something that uh, that some um you know some attention needed not like i go out for pleasure or leisure this one again it's uh, <laughs> brain needed sometimes i'm tired to think to tell you the truth frankly speaking you know i never have had to think so hard every day every month just for running my own life because I've never been an independent woman in the past you know it's always been with a husband so I'm going through this transition where I'm you know, adapting myself to be again not to be again because I've never been to be this self-sufficient autonomous woman if possible but I'm still, you know, I'm still um, not doing that well as yet when it comes to that. Okay, in the meantime, uh, this is uh, for today. Uh, but I always tell 
marvelous. I always stay magical. I always stay positive. You know, I always laugh because life is funny. I don't take life seriously. And uh, it's beautiful. Life is beautiful. All right, open to all possibilities. <coughs> like the photo of those two men who came here you know yes i was told by a very good friend who cares she said why did you have to post that so the reason why i post things on my page because there is always an underlying um, motive and that motive is always positive never negative always positive positive. and in this case it was for my own men's style page, which you all know that I have it. Because sometimes I was told, Meta, why don't you go and stop the men in the street and ask if they could have a minute and, uh, you know, share or, uh, you know, have their photos taken. <clears throat> because here in Milan for that, it's like Disneyland because the men, they dress so well, not all, of course, but you just go to a certain area and you see all these men, they dress so well, and I could have done that, but I still don't have courage to do that as yet. Okay, I'm still shy in that respect. Besides, I don't have the name card to give so that they could always come to the page to see for themselves that, you know, that's, that's the purpose I stopped them. Um, so anyway, so these two men actually already for a few months they've been calling me from their company. Yes, we met one time, just like that. And then um, they've been calling me, calling me, calling me, and I, I just didn't have the time. And besides, I wasn't interested to, for this kind of uh, investment they were approaching me for. But in the end, last week they called and I just gave in. I said, okay, but you know what? I, I really don't feel like going to your office, even though their office is beautiful and it's near the, 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 the Duomo. I hope you can hear me talking, right? Because there's uh, construction going on downstairs and then there's a little radio going on on the other side on my table there. So, um... Yes, they called and I said, no, I, I really don't feel like going to your office. Not this time. I'm not ready. And, okay, you know what? Can we come to your place? I said, well, most of the time I'm home. So they said, yeah, we'll come. When would you like to come? So I decided it was Friday. They could come. But I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking about, you know, about this investment thing. And then later on, this is why it's so beautiful when you open to possibilities. Of course, with common sense, of course, with intelligence, not just like that blindly you say yes to everybody, you know. Use, of course, your intelligence, use your common sense, you know, the reasonability, you know, uh, that's all that requires. So it was really, really serendipity, you know, it's serendipitous, is that how you, you say, turned out to be. Because why? Because when they came and we were just having a nice chat, they were not pushing for anything, they were just having a nice chat, they were giving me nice compliments. And then I realized, wow, you know what, why don't I also ask them, you know, if they could you know, post and I could use the photo too for my page. It just crossed my mind at that moment. So it wasn't like planned or it wasn't like premeditated. And I said, you know, you don't mind, you know, I have this uh, men's page on uh, Facebook and I showed them. I said, look, you know, I would love to take photos of you because you're dressed so sharp. And uh, why, you know, can I take some photos of you? Because really, you're, you're really, really nice looking. So they said, oh, oh, okay, but they said, is this going to the whole world? I said, well, depending on my friends, because, you know, those friends that uh, like my page or those people who like my page, yes, they're from all over the world. Of course, it goes all over the world, not only in Italy. So they said, yeah, okay. So when, when it was time to take the photo, I just took one time. I just took the snap one time they said okay how would you like us to post 
So I said, no, just stand there. Just be natural. So they did. And when they did, I checked. It was okay. I asked them, okay, you like them? Yeah, it's okay. All right. So we just used that. So I took it only once. And it was all so very natural and spontaneous. And that's what I love about life most of the time. The spontaneity and the naturalness of things in general so that's what happened you know so i hope you like you like it you know it's it's uh, you know i i appreciate those who say oh meta you have to be careful you know you just open up you know and allow two men to come to my to your apartment but i have offices here i have office downstairs there in front so don't worry my courtyard is filled with 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 uh you know cars parked there from offices downstairs as well so don't worry about it thank you for your concern and uh, you know at least you know you understand all right why i did that so thank you anyway for your comments and thank you for all the comments that you have written on my page as always that's it for now and i think this is just a uh, talking block this uh, talking block or talking vlog this time by the way, my blog is still not up. My blog is up already, but it hasn't been uh, commercialized yet. So uh, that also I'm uh, planning to do. But uh, there, there are priorities. So at the moment, maybe I can't uh, upgrade it. So that's it for today. This is my uh, vlog of just sitting and chatting with you again. Hope you like it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day uh, I know in Asia it's already evening and then uh, in Italy it's uh, 4 o'clock almost I think I haven't looked at the time and then in America it's uh, late morning right or yeah late morning okay talk to you soon take care um, thank you for watching my video ciao